Hey folks, Randy with the Spokane Barbecue Company. Thanks for joining us today. We have a great video that we're doing. I'm going to show you all how to roast coffee on your grill at home uh, using uh, just a cast iron skillet and your grill. Super easy. You're going to love it. Um, this is our new sponsor. This is Northwest Blends, our nwblends.com. These folks were nice enough to send us some coffee, and I just kind of wanted to show you how easy it is to roast coffee at home and stuff like that. It's not going to be the exact same as you get from a professional roast, but it will get you through a tough jam, and it's fun to do. So I thought we'd take care of that and do a video on it. So we'll be right back, folks. Stick around. Hey folks, welcome back. So this is pretty much what it consists of. Uh, it's a cup of coffee, and this is what green coffee beans look like. Um, you know, they're raw, green, just like that. So we're going to put these in here. And you want to keep about a, just a single layer for the most part. And the idea is to keep these moving. If you let them set too long, they scorch, and then you've got that kind of burnt flavor coffee, and you don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and, and put this on the Charbroil Commander and start the roasting process. Now this is going to sit here and obviously the, the cast iron's got to heat up. But what you're going to do is go start going through the different stages. You're going to have a, a light roast, which is kind of where that white coffee is, if you've ever heard about that. It's a light roasted bean, and uh, it's before the first crack. And if you try to grind them, a lot of times the beans are still hard and they might ruin your home grinder. So it's best to kind of get that professionally ground. But uh, then we'll go through and we'll get our, you know, a light roast and then a medium roast and then a dark roast. And we'll hear the, uh, we'll hear the cracks going and stuff like that. So it's going to be super easy to do. We're going to get that heated up and going. And when we come back, we should be starting the, the light roast process. So stick around. Hey, folks, welcome back. So we got the grill heated up and we're doing, uh, we're getting our beans roasted. So we're just going to sit here and keep these beans moving the entire time. And then really this is all roasting coffee is, just keeping them moving. And you'll start to see some of the husk from the bean. It's going to flake off and uh, it gets pretty messy. But uh, that's just part of the fun of doing it and, and uh, whatever. So keep these moving. You can see some of the beans have already started to turn that tan color. So that's what we're doing right now. Just getting it nice and colored up and good to go. So we'll keep doing this, and we'll come back uh, when we're at the next phase. You guys are going to love it. Stick around. We'll be right back. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh. You should tell me when you turn it on. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. So here we go. So you can see the beans are starting to turn color. We're getting that nice tan look to them. Um, we're just going to keep them moving. There's more of that husk I was talking about around here, and you can see that it's it's starting to flake off. I'll shut up here in a bit, and you'll be able to start to hear the first crack. We're not at that point yet, but these things, you'll think you've got a bowl of Rice Krispies. Hey folks, welcome back. So the, the beans are at a, I think it's pretty, you're getting close to a light roast. Uh, you can take a look at these. You can see how we got a lot more of the brown. Um, they still have some green in them, so we're almost there. We're not quite there, I think. Uh, and we're definitely not at the first crack yet, but we're just going to sit here and just keep moving the beans around like this. If you want to do a figure eight, you can. Uh, circles, you can do squares, triangles, whatever you guys want to do. But just keep these things moving, and, uh, and that's it. So we're getting through the process. Folks, we'll be right back. Appreciate it. Hey folks, welcome back. So we're at the light roast stage. We've we've accomplished that and it looks good. The beans are tan. And the next stage after this is going to be the first crack. So as this sits here and uh, as we keep moving it around, you'll start hearing them crack, kind of thinking that you got a bowl of cereal in front of you, but uh, you don't. It's just coffee beans. And so we're going to keep moving these around, keep going like this. And... Uh, we should be good. So I'll come back once we have the first crack happening. And then the process after that is the second crack. So um, and I think we're going to go for a medium dark roast today is what we're looking for. So let's just keep an eye on it. And we'll keep stirring it. We're going to get this done for you. 
and we'll be right back. Hey folks, welcome back. So, Spokane Barbecue Company, we're roasting some coffee today on the uh, Charbroil Commander. If you are tuning in late, I guess, I don't know how to say that. But here's where we are. We're at, uh, I don't know, we're in between a medium roast and, or uh, yeah, I think in between a medium and a light roast. So we're just moving these around, doing this. Um, you want that temperature of your grill, and I know I probably didn't address this earlier, but you want about that 500 degree mark, and uh, you know maybe 550. And we're just going to keep doing this, and you can see that it's getting a lot darker, so it looks better. But we're just going to keep moving these guys around, keep that roast happening, and we're not quite at the first, um, what do you call it, the first uh, crack yet, but we're getting there. We'll just keep these things going. All right, so hang tight. We'll be back in a bit. Hey folks, welcome back. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Uh, so the beans are in that medium, uh, we're getting to that medium roast. If you get close enough, you can hear it. You can start to hear the cracks uh, are happening. So um, we're going to keep stirring it. This is where we are right now into the roast. So we're going to just keep doing it. Start to hear those cracks coming. And uh, yeah, there they go. You hear that? Yeah, they're cracking. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but anyway, so we're just going to keep this thing moving and uh, we'll keep an eye on you on this. You keep an eye on this. We'll watch it, whatever I'm trying to say. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, welcome back. <clears throat> so we're into this coffee. We're at about a, a deep medium roast, and so you can start to hear that crack. Uh, so the beans are cracking, we're getting that first crack going, and uh, I'm going to just keep moving this around while we get those crackles, but uh, our next step is to kind of get a dark roast, and I think that's what we're going to go with today is a dark roast. The coffee that I'm using is a Guatemalan, so Guatemalan dark roast is going to work really well for this, and then uh, we're going to let it degas for 24 hours, and then uh, it'll be good to grind and start to eat. So we're going to let this crack, and then we'll be back. Thanks for hanging in there. All right, folks, welcome back. We're at the end of this thing. So our beans, we're at a dark roast now. You can check these out and it's, you can see it's got that nice luster to it. The uh, oils are starting to come through the beans, poke out a little bit. We got just a couple minutes left on this. I don't even think a couple minutes. We're gonna keep that stirring. And you still hear the beans cracking a little bit. Just like that. I just want to get these just a little bit darker. There's a few nuggets in there that haven't roasted. But they're all looking pretty evenly done. All the beans are pretty even for the most part except for that guy who's just kind of, he went rogue. But uh, yeah, I think we're there. In fact, we're going to pull these off. So this thing's really hot too. All right, folks, let's go over here. So I'm going to take these beans. I'm just going to pour them into this bowl. Just like that. All right. So now we got these hot coffee beans. And we're just going to let these guys kind of, we're going to let them cool off. We're going to let them, you got to get all the husks out of there too. There, that does a good job. But you can probably you can just blow on it and get the husks out. They do make a mess. And that's never fun, but uh, hey, it's not that bad. So we'll let these cool off. We might even just lay them out on the table. And let them cool out that way. And there you go. We've roasted our coffee beans on the grill. Didn't take very long at all. So, there you go. Isn't that nice? So folks, that's it. Dark roasted coffee beans on the grill. Super easy, a lot of fun to do. Um, it's not as good as a professional roaster, but it'll get you through in a pinch. It does create a good flavor. You can add smoke, like wood. If you want a wood fire flavor to your beans, that's always a, an option. A lot of things you can do with it, but 
Don't forget about nwblends.com, guys. Now, these are professional roasters. You're going to get a much higher quality than what I was able to do here. Um, but these guys are fantastic. And remember, uh, 1776 is the promo code. So you can save 17% off your order if you order it in July. And uh, if not, I'm working to get a, a special one for the Spokane Barbecue Company that we can do year-round kind of promotional thing. But anyway, check these guys out. nwblends.com, coffee roasted when you order it. These guys know what they're doing, do a great job, fantastic job. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, and, and we really appreciate you. Remember to like, subscribe, buy coffee from nwblends.com. Uh, what else is there? Comment, and help that algorithm get kicked into gear. So it just kind of helps us out as we're doing it. We appreciate you folks. Until next time, have a great day.